Hello guys, my name is Matsuki and welcome to another video on the channel. Today is a very special day. Just like last year when we did our little Jev's lust for tiny maps is too powerful. Hot takes part two, staple maps video. We did a uh, follow up video to that one, basically addressing the comments. So just like last year today, we will be addressing the comments on my model for two is severely underrated video. Let's jump right in. So there was something I didn't tell you guys yet. I have read a couple of these comments already. Uh, trust me, it's uh, very positive. Um, <laughs> and dare I say, I've been enlightened. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let, let's jump right in. Let's, get, let's start with the comments. Let's go to newest. Let's see what we got here. All right, very first insightful comment coming in here from Vekirin Enjoyer. Not only do you censor swears for no reason, you also called the worst COD since Advanced Warfare top five in, in quotations, I should say. Uh, just why? Okay, okay. First of all, Mr. Vekirin Enjoyer. What, what does that even mean? Vekirin? A, a Buddhist nun magician who was sealed away by humans because of her kindness towards yokai or ghosts well i mean if if you enjoy uh someone who's that kind towards people i mean this has got to be a good person right uh anyway uh top five um first of all no as you can see right here in uh, my little tier list maker we put it in uh top three so i mean i mean i i did, I did say top five in the video somewhere right and if Modern for two isn't on that top five ooh. Oh, I, guess, I guess I did, so fair enough, fair enough. You, you were listening. But uh, to address your first point, uh, not only do you censor swears for no reason, um, you know what? You you make a fair point. To that I say... I can't see this, okay, right? Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, good idea, I, I should swear more. Thanks for your insight, Vekirin Enjoyer. All right, next one coming in here from Fox Zumakai. No, play Halo. I mean, when you're right, you're right. I mean, like, why why should I play Modern Warfare 2 when I can just play Halo, right? It's obviously the type of game that I'm looking for. Halo's got a bunch of movement options and equipment and uh, a large quantity and variety of map designs. Not to mention it's definitely in the modern era and respects its theme 100%. They don't deviate in Halo. So yeah, I mean, I can't lie. When you're right, you're right. Moving on to the next comment. Uh, let's, uh, most underrated COD multiplayer in the past five years. Let's see what we got under there. All right, third comment coming in here from Noise Bravo. The truth is that any information from a virtual transverse site who uses avatars because he wanted to have a package between his legs should not and should not be taken seriously. Should should not and should not. <laughs> Give me this list for this one. Uh, Mr. Noise Bravo, you've really opened up my eyes on this topic you've discussed. Thank you very much. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I shouldn't be taken seriously, or. All right, maybe I shouldn't, or, or, or shouldn't. Either, either way. Uh, next comment. Ah, here's a good one. Bro did not praise fluff and border crossing. This was actually one of the comments I already read. I did respond, so I'm gonna read it out for you guys too. I said that it's good for that style of map, bro. Like Wetworks from COD Four is so much worse, and you know it. You can't even complain about the cars exploding now because they got heavily nerfed. As you can see in my own gameplay, I exploded a C4 on a car, and only one blew up on border crossing. I was met with, "Nah, Wetworks is a classic for a reason." Nobody hated that map in two thousand. And nobody hates the map today. Almost all COD maps from MW7 to Black Ops 2 uh, were original, new, and godly designed overall. Oh, sorry, goodly designed overall. They have never let go of Nuketown at Matsuki. Okay, we will circle back to this one because this one right here is an absolute treat. <laughs> we'll get right, right back to you, but let's continue the conversation with Mr. Victor Vitari. Okay, so I said Wetworks is just Euphrates Bridge. It's a push-pull tug-of-war map without spawn flips. Wetworks is just worse because it lacks even more flank routes. On the other hand, Border Crossing has flank routes that do wonders for people that use them. You can get behind the enemies and mow them down. Victor says Matsuki, nah, Wetworks is not that crappy bridge map. Wetworks had elements that made it a goated map. Border Crossing is not a good map. And I'm a fan of Piccadilly. And I can acknowledge Piccadilly was a shitty map. So I said, Victor, I don't know. You're not really selling me on the idea that you're a Piccadilly fan alone. Do you have any actual reasons as to why Border Crossing is bad or no? So Victor, his final response here says, Matsuki, other people have put into words and probably have videos as to why Border Crossing is a terrible 
terrible map besides what everyone else likes to point out about. And yes, I fucking love Piccadilly. I think it's one of Modern Warfare 2019's greatest maps, but there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that it's a crappy map. One of his greatest maps. One of the greatest maps. Wow. So let's uh, break this down a little bit here. We got me asking here, is there any actual reasons why it's bad or no? This guy says, eh, other people have already made reasons as to why it's bad. I don't need to do it. And also, Piccadilly's one of MW 2019's greatest maps. I, I don't think we should skip by that. I think we should look at that in depth and just say, uh, you make a fair point. I can't lie, you are spot on. There you go, Victor. Now, circling back to uh, Bo Bala Bla. Well, let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, here we go. I think I might need my reading glasses for this one. Let's do it. <laughs> let's put them on. This person is not part of the COD community. They like Modern Warfare 2 because it's likely an Activision plant. This is the kind of player Activision wants. Players that don't really have a background in COD and will praise their objectively bad ideas. All right, off to a good start. There is no dispute MW2 was not underrated. It was plagued by multiple of poor design decisions meant to further close the skill gap between longtime players of the franchise and people like this faceless VTuber who identify as all sorts of alphabets. All right, all right. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. This is why we had 40 pride flags on launch instead of the national flags like we've had in every other game. This person likes border crossing because it's a completely low skill map where the worst players can get kills just by blowing up cars and camping in the back with a sniper rifle. Yep, yep. Uh, they didn't nerf border crossing, guys. Uh, it's still pretty bad. Honestly, I, I kind of see where this guy's coming from. The, the community needs to start back gatekeeping, period. Oh my god, I can't read this, man. <laughs> the community needs to start back gatekeeping, period. Cars should primarily contribute to your kills. It, double space, was a shameless skill. Oh my god. Okay, one more time, one more time. I, I got this. The community needs to start back a gatekeeping period. There should never have been a map in the first place where cars could primarily contribute to your kills. It was shamelessly skill gap closing. Okay, good. We need people like this shit and the devs that think it's okay away from COD. COD is a competitive game. It is not a casual game. Even when the pubs are meant to have some sort of competitiveness to them, people that think otherwise need to go play Final Fantasy XIV or something. Stop being in this community if you want your stance. It's an arcade shooter that is derived from other hardcore shooters like Quake. It's not casual. Casual mechanics don't belong in it. Shoot good, move good, or don't play. All right. All right. <laughs> to recap, Matsuki is likely a Modern Warfare 2 Activision plant. And I'm a faceless VTuber who identifies as all sort of alphabets. I, Matsuki, am the reason we have 40 pride flags at launch instead of national flags. MW2 is plagued by multiple poor design decisions. Border crossing, you just get kills by blowing up cars. It's thin and long and you gotta... All right, so I just exploded a C4 there and you can see it in the background right up here. Explosives everywhere. I'm like it only exploded one car. But anyway, we also need to bring back gatekeeping period. And COD is not, in fact, casual. All right, what do we want to use on this guy? Yo, Mr. Uh, Bo blah blah. Uh, that's a very interesting perspective you got there. I like it. I think more people should take a page out of your book and replicate it in day to day society. Heck, why not take it a step further and bring that attitude over to political debates too? I think this is just what we need to have a civil discussion nowadays. I learned a lot from you and I'm not gonna let that go to waste. Like you will see in my future videos how much I really paid attention to this comment right here. You pointed out stuff that I just didn't know about myself. And now that I'm aware of that, I can work to further better myself. And to start with that, I think I am going to be changing my channel name. Let's, uh, I think we should get rid of the letters, right? Uh, that might be a little bit too much work. I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it off screen, okay? Uh, next comment. Oh, yo, that's a Darth Maul icon right there. Oh, I like it. Uh, a furious black man. <laughs> Literally no one else agrees with you, bud. Why should we as a community have to play a game that was poorly designed for the minority of players in brackets EU when you can just play Siege? The whole reason why this game was so hated and because if you want a milsim shooter to play, then don't play COD. If you don't want to run and gun, then don't play COD. If this game was titled anything other than Call of Duty, it would have fared way better to the public. But nope, let's throw away the very root of our success with or without jetpacks because we've refused to listen to our customers. L. All right. 
Uh, you know what, Darth Maul? Maybe you're right. When you said, why should we as a community have to play a game that was designed for the minority of players? That really put into perspective how this game was the top selling COD of all time and how you had a bunch of OG MW2 fans that wanted to come back to relive all those MW2 maps that were showcased during the COD Next event in Warzone. Those MW2 fans that wanted to play MW2 maps in MW2? You know, the, the players that liked their noob tubes and camping with the overpowered shotgun secondary weapons, uh, using a ghost perk 24-7. Oh, and you can't forget the insane lunge that Knives had back then. <laughs> uh, last stand as well, uh, anyone anyone uh, remember that? But yeah, you, you, you. You just uh, play Siege. I mean, you know what, dude? You're right. I should play Siege more. I already got 350 hours on the game since uh, last October, like just before MW3 launched. Whereas on MW3, I got two days uh, and a half, two to two and a half days play on there, which is about, I believe, 60 hours in multiplayer. So yeah, you're right. I, I should just be playing Siege because, because you know, we all know Siege is a milsim shooter. It's full of different equipment and gadgets. MW2 didn't have that. So why would I, why should I expect it from there? Oh, and yeah, of course, the I, I don't want a run and gun. That's not me. No, no, not Matsuki. Everyone was being rewarded significantly more for when a UAV was up, allowing us to see the unsuppressed weapon fire and exposed enemy locations. From the base, no red dots by default minimap to an upgraded version. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm playing pretty slow there. Um, you're right, you're right. Oh, uh, silly me. I think there is actually something that I am missing here. So Call of Duty players, they want to run and gun, right? Like that's what we want nowadays. This, this is actually what Call of Duty is. I forgot about that. As you can see here, the very first Call of Duty that came out, uh, don't look at that number. Shipment, uh, yes. Lovely map, everyone loves it. It's what the community wants, is the correct take. And then a couple years later, we of course got the fantastic remaster of COD 4 shipment. I mean, Call of Duty and Mono 4 shipment. And then, uh, you know, the year after that, we got another distinct shipment. I don't even know why these aren't like, on the main game cases like these should just be on the case itself I, get captain price out of there why is he in mw3's game case like it should be the mw3 shipment <laughs> heck maybe i should just be the case designer now but then you also had world war ii shipment here as you can see very world war ii themed shipment containers and then of course you got mono for 2019 over there on the right they are the utmost recognizable part of call of duty so yeah my bad my bad we should listen to the customers i did have an l take there you are right mr furious black man from mr go crazy. You said in this video that forcing people to do things they didn't want to do was a good thing. Can't finish this video now. Well, sir, to that I say... Anywho, oh, here's a brilliant one we got from uh, Mildew. It sucks when I have to wait to unlock you other fun just to use that gun to unlock attachments for the gun I'm already using. Wow, you really had a lot to say there. I really respect your opinion. I have so much to think about, like... Yeah. Anyway, okay, real talk one moment here. This is the real Matsuki. I, I've broken free from the April Fool's joke, okay? Um, is it really that hard? Like, I need to ask a question to you guys. Is it really that hard to get a gun to level five just to get an optic? Like, is it really that bad? Please answer this in the comments below. I need to know. Anyway, back, back to the video. Uh, <laughs> oh God, I had a cough. I don't know what that was. User Sir I'm E. I bet this guy is gonna say that BO2 was under was overrated oh oh spicy zoom with red dots. Uh, where's bo2 there there's bo2 right there you guys see that can you see that is it is it big enough let's uh, zoom in there we go there it is that's uh the overrated cod um that i uh had in the overrated section it bo2 there dark Gross. Way too much love. User sir, I'm E. I didn't see it that way before. Thanks for pointing it out. God, we're already done the list. Jeez. We haven't even like gotten to most of the comments. How many do we got here? 232. Probably half of them are mine, but like, oh, so many. All right, from what a Gordy. This game was able to beat Vagard for the title of worst COD. This horrible thing was Camper Paradise. No movement and a fast slide doesn't count. Horrible gun feeling, way too much visual recoil, everything is slow, 20 years to unlock a gun? 
Flashbang OP, shitty map. Only good is Shoot House because it is MW 2019 map. Night time shipment, downgrade graphics from Mono for 2019. No red dots on minimap. Snipers suck. Almost every iron sight is hard to use. Guns seems like to shoot toys or airsoft. Fast TTK combined with extreme camping is pain. Perks have cooldowns. Stupid idea. No specialist bonus. Yo, 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 wait. Specialist bonus? To top that, they dropped Mono for 2019's specialist bonus pack. Right, right there! <laughs> Broken shotgun. Somehow they made them stronger than 2019. Introduced Commander Graves that is a problem now. I know his line's memory. I did not say that wrong. That is exactly what it says here. Let me just move over here for a second there. Um, in introduced, introduced Commander Graves that is a problem now. I know his line's memory. Mm, yes. And now Warzone 2, horrible sniping. <laughs> uh, terrible loot system. Just by playing it, why can see it was designed around DMZ and not around the Battle Royale concept. Horrible Gulag map. What is horrible? Why are... Eh, there, right there. Horrible Gulag map. Everything is just horrible, I guess. Terrible shops, sis tem. No loadout for a long time. Ashika Island is terrible. Vondel is designed for camping. Almazar was able to make himself hated more than Caldera. Terrible vehicles. Water everywhere that forces pistols. And those aren't even all the problems. There is much more. So I think the hate is legit. MW3 is getting too much hate. It's perfect and fun and fixed. All the shiz that IW did. And why can't deny it? Just go look at the statistics. There are more players now than the entire MW2 life cycle, so MW2 is real trash more than Vanguard. <laughs> Alright, Steam Charts, Call of Duty. Alright, let's look at it from a year ago so we can see exactly where we're at right now. Player count as of Monday, April 1st of 2024. You heard it, April 1st. 96,810. Again, 96,810 last year on April. Okay, so we can't do April 1st, but we can do March 27th, which is very close. It's like four days off. 146,067. Interesting statistics statistics there 96,000 mmm almost a 50,000 difference I see where you're coming from 50,000 gosh that's so many people you could almost say 50,000 people used to live here now it's a ghost town just go look at these statistics. Well, there you go. Those are the only ones that we, as the COD community, can actually look at with our own eyes. MW3 has good guns, good movement with sliding. Reload cancel. I mean, why they remove it in MW2? Fantastic maps. Ownership. Jack kit for guns. It's funny and rewards actual skill and game sense. If you can't be, die not like MW2. And that, that comment got two likes, guys. Two whole people liked this comment. <laughs> God damn it, we ran out of these things. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get a round of applause for this comment. I think that's appropriate, right? Let me, let me give you a little like there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take it away, fuck you. All right, I don't want to hold up all your guys' time today, so I'm just gonna end it on this one from Mr. Potato Lord himself right here. Hacking scum. Nice axe, bro. Matt Sucky. Nice axe. You're the best. You're the best. Hacking scum. Hacking scum. Everyone report this, douche. All right, guys. Peace out. <laughs> Happy April Fools.